Circuit breakers are an essential part of every electrical system. If the lights and appliances on a single circuit draw too much electricity, the electrical wires in your house could overheat and cause a fire. Circuit breakers prevent that from happening. They sense how much current or amperage is being drawn through the circuit. If it's too high, the circuit breaker automatically trips and the power shuts off. If a circuit breaker trips in your house, you should try to reset the breaker to see if the problem continues. The first step is to turn off or unplug the devices that are on that circuit. Look for appliances that use a lot of electricity, like hair dryers, toasters, air conditioners, and clothes dryers. To check the breaker, open the door on the electrical panel and look for an index that tells which area of the home each breaker serves. Locate the corresponding breaker. The switch on the tripped circuit breaker will rest between the on and off positions. If it's not immediately clear which breaker has tripped, move through the panel, pushing all the breakers that appear to be on towards the on position. Breakers that have not tripped will be firmly in the on position. When you come upon one that is springy and won't stay on, that's the breaker that has tripped. Reset the breaker by moving the switch to the off position, then push it in the opposite direction so that it clicks in the on position. Check that the power has been restored to the circuit and to the room that was interrupted. If a breaker won't reset or repeatedly trips after resetting, it may simply be that there are too many appliances or lights on the circuit. If so, the circuit breaker is working properly and operating as it should. You should relocate appliances to see if the problem persists. The problem could also be caused by a damaged cord, plug, receptacle, switch, light fixture, or by faulty wiring. To identify the problem, start by turning off the lights and unplugging all of the appliances on the circuit. As you unplug appliances, look for scorched terminals and check the plugs for overheating. If anything is hot to the touch, it could be the source of the problem. After checking, try to reset the breaker again. If the breaker stays on, plug in and turn on the appliances and lights one by one until the circuit breaker trips. You should immediately relocate, repair, or replace the appliance or fixture that trips the breaker. If you can't identify an appliance or a light that causes the problem, it's time to call a licensed electrician. The electrician will determine if there's a problem with the wiring in the house or if the problem is with the circuit breaker itself. The electrician will start by turning off the main circuit breaker for the entire panel. They'll then turn off all the branch circuits and shut off the power coming into the panel. He'll remove the cover, test to make sure the electricity is off, and disconnect the load wire from the circuit breaker. He'll then remove the breaker from the panel and he may use a tool called a multimeter to test the breaker's continuity in the on and off positions. Even if it passes the continuity test, the breaker may still need to be replaced. The electrician will insert the new breaker into the panel, making sure it clicks into place. He'll attach the circuit's load wire on the terminal and then check and tighten any loose terminal screws on the other circuit breakers. With all of the breakers still in the off position, the electrician will replace the panel cover. He'll turn on the main breaker and then turn on each of the other branch circuit breakers individually. Some newer circuit breakers do a lot more than just monitor the electrical current. They can protect against arc faults, which may occur from a frayed wire somewhere in the system, and provide ground fault or GFCI protection, which is required for circuits that are near water, like kitchens or bathrooms. Every day, the circuit breakers in your electrical panel do a lot to protect your home from fire. If your circuit breakers aren't operating properly, don't ignore the situation. You should work with a licensed electrician to diagnose and fix the problem.